Hi, we would like to talk about uh, this new class, the three-hour online class, about BR, the brain reflex and the COVID pandemic. Um, if you remember, during the BR class, um, we mentioned that this reflex could uh, reoccur after trauma, physical or emotional trauma. Um, for example, we uh, went uh, in Germany and we did a class for MDs, osteopath MDs. And in the class, we had a lot of um, diversity of opinions. Some MDs were really afraid of uh, the pandemic because they saw advanced case uh, in the hospital. Some um, MDs were really um, open not to have a mask because of a lot of controversies and different articles. And some were quite neutral. What was interesting is that all of them had the same three reflex, whatever their opinions. And so there's some conscious and unconscious mechanism in play because we're connected with the rest of the population, because almost by compassion, by unified field, we, um, a lot of us have this reflex, 99% of us have this reflex that will occur. It would be, be great, it would be great to re-inhibit them and that would benefit your family, your friends, your colleague, uh, your patient and clients. And um, for example, one of the MD came back at night uh, to his sister. She was really angry about not having mask. I don't want mask in my house. And some were really afraid of COVID. And when he treated these people, his sister really relaxed and began to laugh about her previous behavior. And she was, you know, she was, she didn't care about mask or no mask. And the other people were not so tight about uh, having a mask. You can protect yourself, but you don't have to um, be so tense. It's not good for your, your immune system. So we are going to review some of the PR techniques, but you have to have prerequisite is BR. And we have three hours because Alaya is going to present a very interesting part after that with the COVID field. What you going to do? Okay. Um, what I'm going to do is help us to become aware of what I call the COVID energetic field. And as I've seen it, that it has been so impressed upon us. And we have become so laden with fear beliefs that we have to disconnect that we have actually created an, an, a barrier that keeps us from connecting. And in this barrier, this field of energy, it is very fear-laden. And we are sending out a message to the world that is very uncomfortable to anybody that comes close to us. And oftentimes it says, stay away from me, you're dangerous, I don't want to be, you know, you might infect me. Whatever it is, is creating a disconnect from our hearts, from one to each other. So if we look at this, it's very important to, to clear this and to know that we can connect safely in love, just carefully in love. What I'm also going to look at is that we have um, a lot of fears and different groups of people that seem to be aligning in opposition. And if we look at the, no matter what you believe, it doesn't matter, whatever we believe, we look at our thoughts and we can see that they are basically, again, fear-based. And these thoughts create an opposition to other people that feel differently. It has created such an intensity in this world. So if we look at our thoughts, we're able to clear them, and we're also to, able to look at the people that we are judging, those that we feel are standing in opposition to us, and to heal our own judgment. I'm working with this a little bit differently. I'm looking at thoughts as little mental constructs that have a lot of power, that, of course, when we believe in them, they manifest our reality. But what's different is that if you imagine that if a thought comes into your field and it has no meaning to you, it's like a cloud, it just floats by. 
But if you have a fear-based thought that comes into your field and it triggers you, and you respond, you are infusing your own emotion into this thought form, and you are empowering it and giving it the power of manifestation. And what are we... To be able to be conscious of what we are giving a right to exist and to manifest in our life is extremely important. So that we can look at it, we can do a little bit of dialoguing with thoughts so that we can be very aware of what we are owning, creating, and sustaining in the world. And we can look at how in our own field of negativity, our own thoughts, that somehow we are creating a feedback loop from ourselves to each other into the collective consciousness. And as we bring more awareness of this, we can diffuse it. We can unplug out of the negativity and into a higher consciousness. And for me, this feels very, very important that we can do this with love and awareness. And it can actually be a lot of fun. And the outcome, we get to connect again. So hopefully we'll see you at the class.